I had hundreds of apprentices come out of high school who were not qualified to even start working for me based on um, not having the ability to go through the, the CTE or vocational ed that I had. Uh, I didn't have the opportunity to go to college. I went into an apprenticeship program right after because I knew I had an aptitude to go and be uh, somewhat competent going forward. A lot of kids come out of high school, they go into the workforce, they don't have this training, and they're embarrassed because they, don't, they can't be helpful and they're a burden to the employer and they give up. They absolutely do give up. And so then they kind of flounder around looking for a place. And I think the, the chair has, has demonstrated that we need to be able to give the, the opportunity to these in, young individuals and they become infatuated or Im impressed on what they can accomplish early in life and know that they can be successful at something. Um, we all, you know, we, we identify with life skills for the special needs population, 18 to 22 year olds. We give them everything that we can. We have Pell Grants, we have cash for college, we have all of these things for the pathway to college. But you tell us that you, eh, you know, maybe three more years that we're gonna look at this where it was flat funded for CTE. Um, it's imperative that we look at uh, this as a opportunity for young people. Um, <clears throat> I, I will tell you that as an employer, I think that when the individuals came to me and they weren't prepared, that I failed them in some way, paying taxes, that they weren't getting the education that they needed to be successful. And so I implore all of you to make a conscious effort to make sure that these children have an opportunity. And it just, like I say, I can't thank the chair for bringing this up and, and being a, a co-author with him on his bill because uh, if we don't step up and we let districts determine outcomes, they're going to circumvent the process because they have a different perspective. And I think that it needs to be a mandate in this state. And I think, and you said you can't make a district uh, comply to any kind of CT. We can, and we should. And so I'm looking forward to working with the chair going forward <laughs> on that process because I became an apprentice because of CT or vocational ed, and then I became a master carpenter and a contractor, and now I'm a state legislator. And I am going to continue to champion this CT until the day that I'm out of here. So I look forward to working with all of you. And I think we should start tracking performance metrics on what is accomplished through CT and job retention because of it.